the fundamentals of skating. Brought to you by How To Hockey and sponsored by HockeyShot.com. Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com. And Scott from The Science of Skating. In this video, we're going to be teaching you guys the forward stride. Let's get right to it. We're here with Scott Grover. He's been teaching power skating for over 30 years, and he's going to give you the basics on the forward stride. Okay, so back to belt that stance home again. Wide base, low center of gravity, tough to knock over. But we're going to add, because we have more moving parts, we have to add more into it. So arms are our next thing to add into it. All right, as we push with our one leg, we push, our arm comes in front to balance us out over the balancing leg. Okay, this is the pushing leg, this is the balancing leg. And the arm is a counterbalance to keep us balanced over top that leg. Then obviously when we switch legs, it switches arms. The arm that comes back stays tight to the side. The elbow can turn out, but the hand stays in tight to the side. This will help later for getting your hand back to your stick quick for pass. And it'll also help for when you get to body contact, having everything ready for the hit. So Scott is giving you the basics of the forward stride while we're standing still. Now he's going to talk you through it in motion. All right, let's, let's put this thing to motion. So I'm pushing with my right leg. I want to push all the way out to the toe. My right arm comes in front. I pull it back in, then I start it all over again on the other side. The key is after you push out, you make sure it comes back in, out and back in. Otherwise, what we get with a lot of kids is this stride, which makes them work twice as hard to go half as fast. All right, Scott, we learned the basics of the stride there. We saw it in motion. How can we become a little bit faster and a little bit of a better skater with the stride? Well, the reality of it all is, is that after the push out, you have to snap the foot back in. And, and it's as important to push it out quick as snap it back in. When you snap it back in, what it does is set you up to balance out the other side of the stride. So when I snap this foot in, it's actually balancing me out so I can set up for the right foot. In order for you to continuously gain, we want to try and mix maximum range of motion with foot speed. Just to recap those points of having a good forward stride, so starting with the building blocks that we mentioned in other videos, good hockey stance, shoulder width apart with your feet, uh, nice low stance, so good knee bend right there, right? Also using your edges. So when you're pushing, you don't want to be running on the ice like this, you want to be using your edges. So it starts by pushing a little bit behind you. As you get going a bit faster, you're gonna start pushing out more to the side and you're using your edges to really get that good push. As Scott mentioned, you want to have a good stride, so a nice long stride, also a good quick recovery. Because if you're pushing here really powerfully, but then taking a long time to recover, then you're not getting as many strides in as you can. So a long stride is gonna help you be faster, but a good stride rate is also gonna help you become a lot faster. So the faster you can push out, get a nice full stride, and bring that foot back in, and then push it on the other side, the faster you're gonna go. So remember, work on using your edges, that good proper hockey stance, good knee bend, a nice full long stride, and a quick foot recovery so you can do it all again on the other side. Those tips should help you become a lot better and really improve your forward stride. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget, Scott and I are doing a full series on skating, so you can check it out on our YouTube channel. And you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel and get more videos like this. Also, don't forget to check out my website. It's howtohockey.com. I have all kinds of videos on improving your skating, shooting, stick handling, basically anything you can think of to become a better hockey player. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, these videos are brought to you by hockeyshot.com. They have the best hockey training aids out there. Stuff like nets, targets, shooting pads, training tiles, slide boards, all kinds of products to help you guys improve your skills. If you want to check out their products, I have the link in the video description.